Till the current estimated time that it would take to free fall to the center of the earth is 38 minutes and 11 seconds. Just in case anyone wants to know the reality of this, as long as you're not falling through a vacuum in just a giant hole, the terminal velocity of someone in free fall is 120 miles per hour. The diameter of the earth is 7,900 miles. If there's air in this hole you're falling through it'll take 66 hours at a terminal velocity pace. Ignoring the fact the net force shifts as you approach the center of gravity, the conservation of linear momentum, and basically every other principle of physics. There's is only true on paper that ignores most established models of physics. What about air pressure? A quick and poorly done calculation seems to indicate that it would be around 30 ksi at 4000 miles of depth. If the air is a liquid by then it's at least going to be chewy and slow you down quite a bit. At a misplaced a decimal point in 3k doesn't seem so bad. Never mind. Thing is about this calculation that never comes up is the fact that gravitational force is dependent on mass. When you get close to the core, wouldn't there be a point where the mass to your sides is greater than between you and the center so the mass would pull you into a side? I don't butt into this. Takes me 13 hours from London to Tokyo. This just doesn't seem right for so many reasons. If hypothetically you could withstand the heat and pressure and lack of oxygen, you would slow down as gravity would surround you not pull you down faster. Well, you'll be blown away by the fact that, ignoring losses, it would take only 42 minutes through a tunnel between any two points on Earth's surface using just gravity. Once you're at the bottom of a hypothetical hole to the center I know the core isn't solid but just as hand wave it away and there's a hole to the center, would your fall be affected by the gravity of half the earth above you pulling you up? I have always thought the idea of falling through a non-spinning earth or at pull to pole was a cheat and you should have to figure out a curve that allowed for the lateral velocity from the earth spinning. You would end up with a spiral. When they say the current estimated time, are they expecting either the mass of the earth, the diameter of the earth, or g to change sometime soon? Because it seems like that's the only reason they'd have for saying current. Assuming this were even possible and everything more or less than same, would the forces cancel each other out basically leaving you gingerly tossed out the other end of the hole and landing daintily on your feet? What would happen if you fell through a continuous hole that went all the way through? Would you eject from the Earth's orbit? Or would you endlessly fall back and forth through the Earth? This is something I've actually wondered about. If the hole is straight through to the other side, once you pass the core, would you start decelerating as you head towards the surface? Related question, how long to free fall to the surface of the sun assuming we instantly stopped in our orbit without physics consequences and what would our speed be at impact? Would you burn to a crisp a handful of minutes into this fall? Would there be a big air pressure difference as you fell as well? Just curious, that's also fairly close to the maximum time a stargate can maintain a stable wormhole under normal circumstances. So the distance to the center of the Earth is twice the distance of that from the crust to the exosphere? Coincidentally I was thinking of that just the other day but didn't google it as I forgot, so thank you. So if I dug a hole through the center of the Earth to Australia I could be there in just over an hour? Is this accounting for change in gravity as you get closer to the center of Earth? Um no. I'm the center of the earth and it takes me zero seconds to get to myself. You can listen to Free Fallen by Tom Petty nine times on the way down. This is a totally deep hole. Definitely quicker than that. Takes like 30 seconds to do a 10,000 foot skydive. You telling me it only takes an hour and 16 minutes to get to China? Why is that only the current estimate? Does the estimate keep changing? Thoughtful face. Speculation though. Prove to me the moon isn't just the back of the sun. 38 minutes and 11 seconds to go through, not just to the center. Would you hypothetically keep on going and pop out other side? Wouldn't you accelerate as you approach the altered dense core? Waves to Grunkle stand glowering at nothing on the way down. Relevant is Jack's KCD.